Hey guys, welcome back to um, Deft YouTube, Deft Tutorials. Today I'm going to be doing a short video, kind of quick, not really tutorial, but just talking about uh, render settings, bitrate briefly, and what we use. So I'm not going to get too in depth with uh, different like file types, file like bitrates and all that. I'm just going to tell you guys what we use and why we use it. So basically bitrate is how much data is written to the file every second. So it's how many megabytes per second is, is being written to create that file. And the general consensus is that higher bitrate equals higher quality because when there's a lower bitrate the compression is more obvious and you'll have like pixelation and blurring and a bunch of other stuff that you don't need but everything depends on what your project is so here I have an example um, project here this is actually the a tutorial from a while ago uh, and once you import these things into Adobe Media Encoder which is what we use to render our things um, it defaults to the match source high bitrate preset and I used to use this a lot I eventually did some research and started to change up my render settings especially when I got a 4k camera and started outputting into 4k so if we take a look here we click on match source high bitrate it opens up our export settings and as you can see here you can adjust the width and height of the render which I don't usually touch the only things I ever touch are at the bottom at bitrate settings under this you'll have two options uh, this is constant bitrate and variable bitrate. CBR is constant bitrate, uh, meaning that the bitrate that you designate, so say it's like 10, will be constant. So each second there's 10 megabytes being written onto the file. This used to be the normal. This used to be what most devices uh, were supporting. But when variable bitrate came out and became the normal, it proved to be much more suitable for real world use. And that's because variable bitrate chooses a target bitrate. So say we choose like 10 or 20, that means that the target bitrate will be around 20, but it will vary for what the second and what the data actually needs. Having a higher bitrate on variable bitrate will allow for the data if it's needed to go there, but if it's not, then to not go there. And this saves on file size, this saves on optimization. Say you had a four second video and half of that video was a black screen. You wouldn't want to waste 20 megabytes a second on the black screen because that could use a much smaller bitrate because it's just a black screen. That's where variable bitrate comes in, where it would lower the bitrate for frames and for data, which doesn't need to be processed as hard. So yeah, um, I hope you guys you know learned a little bit. I'm still learning on this stuff. I'm gonna get more in depth on it sometime maybe, but this is what we use currently. If this helped, please leave a like below and uh, I'll see you guys next week or Xander will see you next week. Someone's gonna see you next week. So I'll see you around.